If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. NWO did a great job so far. He has been able to trap five tactical bombers over here. Only one tactical bomber, one interceptor remain. They are heavily damaged. He has been able taking both Jerusalem, Beirut, and Aleppo. Unfortunately, Syria, who is Meleonidas, is not very active. His allies, Turkey and Iraq, are protecting him as good as they can. But NWO he is just on a suicide rampage. He's not giving up, he's just continuing. It's pretty ballsy. I like it, man. Damn, Turkey is now moving his units to his own core provinces because, well, with this doom stack, try to stop that one, man. It's pretty dangerous stuff. Unfortunately for Meleonidas, but he won't get far in the game, I guess. He's not the only YouTuber who won't get far in the game, because also Aquila is getting attacked. He is getting attacked both by Caribbean, Peru, Colombia. You can see the units moving in over here. Aquila playing Venezuela is in trouble, but such is the nature of Call of War. If you're not lucky with your starting position and you're surrounded by another coalition, you can get taken out there very fast. Speaking of being surrounded, we have Belgian Congo, who I need to give a shout out because he is fighting like a tiger. Yeah, he is counter attacking everywhere he can, eliminating units everywhere he can. He's being very active. We got my ally here who is less active, might have gone to bed, I don't know. Has his armored car here stationed right in front of these planes. He would have taken out this aircraft factory over here, take out the interceptor and the attack bomber as well. On top of it, Stanleyville is rare resources. We could use rare resources, man. All those rocket artillery. This is a failed opportunity. And then here is a tank plant, I guess, because there's just a new armored car that rolled out. It's gonna become problematic, man, because there's a lot of armored cars that Belgian Congo is making. There's two armored cars that are coming over here. The line of Angola has completely crumbled as he was inactive while he was attacking with his artillery. And so now he is paying the price. I'm keeping an anti-air and an armored car over here. The rest I'm sending to Menoj. It is the fastest way into my core provinces, so this armored car will probably go over there. I hope that I will be able to intercept it. In three hours time it will arrive over here, but Angola only needs two hours twenty to get there, but one infantry is not going to stop two armored cars even if it is in a forest. He's gonna need help, but my units are far from assembled, man. I need to go to bed because it is past 2 a.m. now and I am pretty tired. My subs are scouting. There is one naval bomber over here that is parked in Mayunga. There is also an air factory, but nothing is over there. No movement has been seen from Madagascar so far, but then again, his units can be over here in Tanyanika. We've got Desert Fox that is in trouble. Stalinica has seven tactical bombers. There is no anti-air in here, but that hurts. He's moving more units north now because we've got Libya who is moving in fast. We will probably get flanked by Nigeria. Nigeria is the real stud of the game here. He has both flanked South Sudan over here. He has flanked Belgian Congo. And now he's probably gonna flank also Libya. He's being crazy active, man, which cannot be said by Equatorial Gabon. He hasn't played. I mean, why join a game like this, a private community game, if you're not even gonna play, man? Doesn't make any sense. He's a regular player with regular stats, however, joined 138 games for only level 74, only 5 coalition victories. That is poor country management, man. However, his skill death ratio and his province attainment is not bad. This guy would play less games at the same time he would have much better stats. I've taken the supply drop here in Kalomo, but I'm a bit disappointed because I only received about 3000 rare materials and steel, whereas NWO plays Saudi Arabia received 10,000. Yeah man, I don't know where the difference comes from. It must be because this is a small AI and that the 
Saudi Arabia, he attacked live player and is in war with three players. I don't know where the difference comes from, how it, how the supply drops are attributed or calculated, but I'm a bit disappointed. The next morning. I woke up just at the good moment because we have got Congo that is about to break through. He's heading towards B now. So I'm mobilizing my units. Stack is heavily damaged versus unarmored cars. It only deals 7.5 damage in attack and it has only 53% damage efficiency due to its low health. This one over here are two armored cars. We've got eight infantry over here, one armored car over here who will most probably come through the province over here. I'm gonna have to take it out of interceptors that one man. I'm declared trade embargo as soon as as I am in range, I'm declaring war. Over here, there's artillery, but I should be able to clean it up. However, we've got Kenya, who is getting a bit greedy. I mean, I need to expand two men. He's got all his lines set. Christ's sake, let me expand two. I need economy. Menchwanderland finally has arrived in Tanyanika. This is our friend Desert Fox here has taken a heavy hit. The units are heavily damaged by the tactical bombers from Tanyanika. And on top of that, Madagascar has landed 10 units in Oblok. And soon he will get attacked also over here by Libya. Surely the enemy team is going to start attacking over here as well. Now that they have taken care of Saudi Arabia. Actually, they haven't taken care of Saudi Arabia just yet. Saudi Arabia is on a real rampage. He took out almost all the cities of Syria. Crazy! He only has a Nicosia left, that's it. Also, Venezuela is being hard-pressed, getting attacked by three players all over the place. They're landing plenty units on his coastline. East Brazil is attacking Aquila's ally Marinhao, who is getting destroyed as well. So far, the only lucky one here is North Brazil, who hasn't been attacked yet. I decided to attack Angola, as he has little units and I didn't want Congo to take it. As soon as he saw me advancing, he pulled back, which is too bad. I'm gonna have to chase him and chase him. He's being really active, he's playing very good, so it's gonna be a pleasure to war with him. However, if he's going to run all his units into the opposite direction, into Nigeria, that's gonna be a problem for us. Tanyanika is uh, getting uh, battered. His uh, planes need to refuel for another 19 minutes and I see that there is a light tank force marching in. I hope he's gonna be able to uh, take out those tactical bombers, that would be cool. Most of the country is empty. Also, he is completely going suicide here on our poor desert fox. He has his big stack over here, headed in direction of Namkete. And Madagascar has uh, two stacks here of five units. Those are gonna split up and desert fox is not gonna be able to defend himself. He's gonna lose Harar, which is a steel province with a level two secret lab. So that would be bad news, but there's nothing we can do about it, man. He's put his army in three cities. That's the best he can do. So far we're lucky as Libya seems to be peaceful so far. I think he's just waiting for his allies to uh, finish off Saudi Arabia so that they can land over here in Libya by crossing the Red Sea. I should have subs there but I can't. There are two subs here that are surveying over Madagascar. And spoken of Madagascar, I have got unwanted visitors and it's actually a lot of units. I think he's gonna be able to kill my sub rather fast. He deals 4.2 hit points to sub. My sub has how many hit points? Yeah, that's gonna hurt, man. What is that? How many units? Oh, one. So he has sent 11 units to me. That's all his starting units, I guess, if we count uh, also the 10 units that are in Ethiopia. I mean, it's too late. Too little man oh what is this in four hours time is day three at day one he should have sent all his units to either tanya nika or he should have attacked the eight ai he over here i forgot the name or he should have sent his units to south africa those guys play well but they don't play as a team if you play divided you're gonna go down man i've got one more sub coming in on force march and i've got another sub in production which takes two hours 26 i think my sub will have a short life lived if he's going to get attacked by 11 units. 
I'm just gonna have to stay static defensive so that the fight lasts longer so that my other two subs will be able to come to the rescue. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.